The newsroom contains language and subject matter that some viewers may find offensive. We recommend viewer discretion. So why did you leave news for politics? You know, there's this, there's this thing that happens when you're working the news and you, you get a story of 350 people killed in a train crash in India. You know, it's just another story, right? Right. Yeah. Just, that's the big lead. You get the film, you get the bodies, you know, you get excited by that. Right. And after a while, that just is, you just become so, you know, completely cynical and hard, you know. But I think that in politics, uh, uh, the angle you'd take on a story like that would be, hey, we can do something about that. Um, uh, we build a better train. Build a better train. Mm -hmm. And well, we, uh, and we, and we, uh, and we, and we sell, sell India a better train. And uh, you're not going to have 350 people killed, maybe. You that's know, true. and that's what we can do in politics. Okay, so you would like to know if Jim Walcott is in favor of eliminating child poverty in Canada. I'll ask him for you. Okay. Jim, it's a guy from the Star. Are you in favor of eliminating child poverty in Canada? Child poverty in Canada? This is a provincial election. Is that a yes or no? Jeremy, Jeremy, just a sec. A guy from the Toronto Star wants to know if I'm in favor of eliminating child poverty in Canada. It's a provincial election. Yeah, that's what I said. Hi, how are you? Good. I'm Jim Walcott. I'm running for the Liberal Party in this district, and I hope I can count on your support. Uh, we're from Detroit, up for a week of gambling in Aurelia. Oh, you're Americans. I'm sorry. Well, I hope if you uh, ever decide to take up residence here, I'll have your support. We love Canada. Oh, we love having you. You don't have the colored problem here. Uh, no, but you don't get our horrible winters, huh? That's true. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you. Uh, the pamphlets? Ah, keep them. Be yours. Souvenirs. Uh, politicians today, huh? You know the best politician this country ever saw? Pierre Trudeau, man. Now, even if you didn't agree with him, at least he did something. He had the balls to do something. Conviction. They don't, uh, don't do that anymore. Maggie Trudeau screwed him up, huh? She was a Fruit Loop. Hippy dippy, you know, that ruined everything. Man. Politicians nowadays, eh? every single one of them is an idiot. Morons. Can we get another driver, please? It's his van. He's cheap, okay? The guy thinks I'm an idiot. Come on. He's one guy who thinks you're an idiot when the majority of the voting public starts thinking you're an idiot. Then we'll worry. Trust me on this. The coffee is here. Coffee, coffee, coffee. You just look at them now, eh? Politicians now. Just you know, garbage. Douchebags. Oh, he's not talking about you when he says douchebags. Don't worry, you're gonna be the next premier of the province. Ah, oh, shit. Look at this. I get the Hamburglar again. Can you believe they do that? I got like four of these. What'd you guys get? I didn't get the Happy Meal. Yeah, I, I didn't get the Happy Meal. Oh, I got the Roger Rabbit Roadster. This is a great toy. Let me see that. Uh, I don't see anything. You got to hold it up to a light source. You got to point it towards the window. Oh, yeah. That's great. There's a lot of money here today. Don't discuss any complicated issues. Just say, cut the deficit, create jobs. Cut the deficit, cut the deficit create, create jobs. jobs. Cut okay? Deficit, create okay, jobs. good. Right. Be yourself. Don't yeah. say a lot. Let your image talk for you. Yeah. How's the hair? Good, good, good. good. That's good. Hello, hello. Oh, hi, hi. Hello, oh. Jim Walcott. Well, this really is mm, such an honor for Jerry and I. Oh, Jerry, you. as you know, has done a tremendous amount of fundraising for the federal liberals. Oh, terrific. Yes, can I have your vote? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Rosalba? Are you hungry? Oh, yeah. Let's get something to eat. Sorry. Well, I, I really appreciate you contributing your house like this. Oh, don't be silly. At Christmas, we had a thing for the mother of Shadé Naron. You know, the Somali boy who was killed by the Canadian Armed Forces in Somalia. Oh, the, the uh, right, the Somali Commission. Yeah. I remember doing that story. Yeah, well, right. we flew her over here, and uh, it was a dead of winter. She didn't have a warm coat, so I gave her an old mink. Now, I won't wear fur anymore, but I'm sure you can wear fur in Somalia. I mean, they don't have that Disney relationship to animals in Africa that we do over here. No, no, I'm sure they use every part of the animal over there. 
Yeah. I was in New Delhi for this conference on child poverty. Uh, the statistics are horrible. Anyway, the guy in the room next to me is from Mozambique, an incredibly poor place, and uh, I see on his sink Gillette, clear gel antiperspirant. That's the kind where you turn it and it comes up through the halls. Right. Now he's from Mozambique. So I phone up my broker and I buy a thousand shares of Gillette at 62 and I close today at 70. Don't you find a buildup with the clear gel? Well, we built the sauna so that you can go directly to the pool without uh, walking through the house. Oh, that's great. But more importantly, we have to win this election. There are too many people without jobs and too many families living in shelters. Oh my gosh, this house is beautiful. Mm. 6,200 square feet, not including the, uh, the pool house. Jerry and I just love the concept of a news anchor running, slow down on the salmon. I want you to meet someone with a lot of money whose heart's in the right place. Harriet. Hutus killing Tutsis, Tutsis killing Hutus, and Serbs and Croats killing each other. Arnold and I used to travel everywhere. I mean, can you travel anywhere anymore? Harris, maybe. Hmm. Uh, apparently there's a travel advisory out there right now for Canadians in Mexico. Probably the Zapatistas. Oh, right. That's the little, um, uh, in the water, right? The, or the organism? The revolutionary movement. <laughs> right, right, right. Jim's a real thinking candidate. I've worked with him for the last four years, and I've gotten to know the real guy. He's compassionate, he's highly intelligent, and he's focused on the really big issues that matter in this campaign. You, know, you take a campaign sign and pound it into a lot and then take it out a couple of weeks later. It only takes, you know, a day or two for the grass, root, for the, for the grass to grow back over the, the little hole. But, I mean, it's really no different than a divot on a golf course. But so often you'll see, uh, you'll, you'll play a golf course and you'll see all these divots hanging around. I mean, a guy will take a divot and put it back without pressing it down, you know? Yeah, I've always been pro-choice, but I gotta think about this one for a second. You're saying that the decision should always be between the woman, her doctor, and her dog? Her god, not her dog. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Sorry, I, I thought you said dog. We believe the decision should be left between the uh, woman, her doctor, and her god. Right, I, I thought dog was a little... The thing about politics in Canada right now is that they're so right wing, you know? I mean, it's like the United States. All oh, the politicians screaming for capital punishment is pathetic. He's right, you know? We, uh, we believe that Jim is going to bring politics here back to the moderate liberal center. Well, personally, I think all sex offenders should be hung. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what we were saying. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Hang them. Okay, she told me that you thought that she said when she was talking about abortion, that the choice was between a woman, her doctor, and her dog, and that you were willing to think about this, to consider this? No, I thought she said dog, not God. I know you thought that. That's my point, okay? You're discussing abortion, you know, uh, and, and you're not quite sure what the person says. Excuse me. Maybe they said dog, maybe they said God. It doesn't take a genius to figure out they said God. No, she could have said dog, she could have said God. I don't know, I didn't hear her. Let me put it this way. Someone says to you that they believe in an all-knowing God, okay? but you don't quite hear them. Are you going to think, oh, maybe they said, I believe in an all-knowing dog? Uh, no. Uh, I thought she said dog, that's all. I know. I know you thought that, okay? Someone's going to have an abortion. What are they going to do? Consult a dog? No. Stay away from these issues, all right? Just... Cut the deficit, create jobs. That's all you gotta say. Cut the deficit, create jobs. Cut the okay, deficit. that's all you gotta say. Okay, that's it. In news, um, every human tragedy is uh, is a story, mm -hmm. and every idea is a commodity. And after a while, you become incredibly cynical. You stop believing in everything. And um, I guess I wanted to believe in something again. I hope that doesn't sound trite. No, no, I know exactly what you mean. And I hope this doesn't sound even more trite, but I but I think I believe in Jim Walker. Yeah. That, that cynicism that everything's a commodity. You know, I had exactly the same feeling after our software company went public. There was just so much money that I personally made off the public offering on a children's educational undertaking. See, it started out as an act of love for children's books and ended up so hugely successful with offices here and in New York and in Vancouver. Uh, I came home from that first meeting from the brokerage firm that underwrote us five million dollars richer. But something was missing, you know? I felt empty. So you know what I did? 
I went up to my daughter's room, and I took out an old copy of Charlotte's Web. I curled up, and I read it. Just for me. Know what I mean? Five million for the... Yeah, the stock has doubled since then. There's still more salmon. Good, good. Hey, you! Where have you been? I miss you. I need to talk to you. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. This is a private party. But I'm a supporter of Jim's campaign, and I'm pregnant with his baby. Thanks for your support. To Jim Walcott, and a liberal victory! You're here. Cheers! Cheers. Thank you. Yesterday we were pro-choice, today we're pro-life, I mean... We're just listening to our polls. Well, yeah, but doesn't a change now damage our credibility a little? Inflexibility damages our credibility. Look, our polls show that a slim majority of people are pro-choice, but only half of them actually vote. On the other hand, 95% of the pro-lifers will actually take the time to fill out a ballot. I mean, we're talking about listening to people who care enough to vote. Hell, if that's a crime, lock me up. Yesterday you were all saying that pro-choice is a morally superior position. We've got the morally superior candidate. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you can take all the moral issues in the world. You can take the Ten Commandments mm -hmm. to the polls, right? But if you can't sell a Moses, you know, thou shalt not kill is no better than tits on a bull. Mm -hmm. Look, let's win this thing first, then we'll part the Red Sea. So, so when does life begin for us on this campaign? Um, well, when does life begin? Well, it, it you know it begins at. Uh, Life begins at, uh... Depends on how badly you want to win. Exactly. Depends on how badly you want to win. The point is you've got to keep it simple. If you start talking about first trimester, third trimester, rape, incest, you know what happens? The voter starts to think. So, you keep it simple. If you can't define life in one word, you don't belong in a political campaign. Okay? Just got to figure out what the word is. I think we have to go back as far as insemination. 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 When the sperm hits the egg. Absolutely. Yeah. Shit, shit, the literature. The first mailing. Jim's pro-choice in it. Well, just cancel it. It's, it's already gone out. Hmm. Audrey, the truck with the literature, where is it? Is it gone? Is it here? Where is it? They just picked it up. What's the problem? Come with me. Come with me. The problem is it has the literature with Jim's pro-choice, OK? I thought that he was pro-choice. There's been a change, OK? From now on, anyone asks, life begins at insemination. Silly me. I thought life began with the viability of the fetus. Not if we want to win this election, it doesn't. Hey, hold on a sec. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, this stuff can't go out. This stuff is all wrong. Why? Well, this is Jim pro-choice, right? He is pro-choice. No, no, no. There's been a change, okay? From now on, life begins at insemination, okay? I don't want a single truck that goes out of here pro-choice. Every truck from now on, life begins at insemination. Okay, this is the second truck. The first truck's already gone. It's pro-choice. Oh. This is ridiculous, okay? Okay? From now on, life begins at insemination, all right? Okay, tell the drivers. Yeah. Hi, Jim Walcott. Cutting the deficit, creating jobs. Hope I can count on your support in the upcoming election. Hi, I'm Jim Walcott. I'm running in the upcoming election. I hope I can count on your support. When you vote, when you go to vote, you see this name, J-I-M-W-A-L-C-O-T-T. -T. That's me, yeah? So you go and you say, Jim Walcott, yes, check. Maybe you remember me from the news. I did the 6 o'clock news. Good evening, I'm Jim Walcott. Remember that? Yeah, you pass by, and I'm looking off in that direction. Right? There. I'm only making eye contact if you're standing right in front of the poster. Right. But here, with Jesus, I got this in Little Italy when I was campaigning. I just gave it to me. His eyes seem to follow you as you pass by. See that? He keeps looking at you. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. So, I'm just wondering if we can get this on my poster. So if I'm standing over there, Jim Walcott is smiling at you. And if I'm standing over there, Jim Walcott is still smiling at you. I'm making eye contact for that much longer. Right? I don't know what the process is that gets... Christ's eyes to do that, but it can't be that hard to get on a poster. Jesus, eye contact. Jim Walcott, no eye contact. See the difference? 